Are you ready for a full-on turtle power breakdown of your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja heroes? We're looking at none other than the brave leader in blue, Leonardo. He was a baby pet turtle until a container of mystery ooze spilled on Leo and his three brothers, causing them to mutate into some adorable turtle tots. Named after their father's favorite renaissance artist and raised in the ways of the ninja, Leo and his brothers grew up to be lean, green fighting machines. Leonardo is the appointed leader of his team and three brothers. I made you leader for a reason. What is that reason? That is for you to discover on your own. And along with wearing his iconic blue bandana, Leo gives off serious heroic vibes. Behind the mask, he has fern green skin and cobalt blue eyes. Leo! Except when going full ninja stealth mode and they turn solid white. Leo is always ready to fight with his brown pads and tape wrapped hands and feet perfect for beating up baddies and slapping high threes with his bros. But when the mission requires him to amp it up, Leo will rock a cool alt costume like his sweet spacesuit. Mr. Crankshaw, set phasers to destruction. Kicking butt and looking stylish while doing so. While on a vision quest, he also wore an all white armor set. We'll be challenged in the spirit realm and we meet our ultimate fate. And when it's time to get serious, Leo goes all out in black. As the leader in blue, Leo will do anything it takes to get his ninjas through. Gentlemen, I have a bold and daring plan. There's no time for hesitation. My orders must be carried out without question. Guys, guys, wait up! And while a ninja's appearance is important, now we're getting somewhere. Being in charge is a task Leonardo takes seriously. I don't know what that means. Go around back. Why didn't you just say so? His main weapon of choice is an extension of himself, dual katana swords. Leo masterfully wields his katanas with skill and precision, slicing through almost anything in his path. He has perfected using his two swords to defend against evil. And hidden away in the handles of his katanas are some secret Tonto blades when all else fails. His intense training makes him the most skilled fighter out of his three brothers. Well, Leo won it this time. But when his blades aren't strong enough, Leo switches to a high-tech laser sword alternative. How cool is that? Even if you take away his swords, that won't slow him down. I agree. He is a world-class archer and dangerous with a bow and arrow. As impressive as Leo's accuracy is with a bow, he's just as accurate with his ninja throwing stars. So we know Leonardo is a great fighter, but that's not all he's capable of. He has some very unique skills. As an expert in ninjutsu, Leonardo is also masterfully gifted in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Leo's strength, speed, and agility are off the charts, too. Whoa. <laughs> he is the most spiritually connected turtle out of his brothers. Sha, Rin, Kai, Jin, Retsu, Zai, Zen. Meditating and learning the special skill of healing.
But there's more to being a leader than having cool healing powers. Snake bite is worse than the worst. So what makes Leonardo a great leader? Leo is brave, hardworking, honorable, and a role model for the entire team. I just want to be a good leader, you know? A true leader doesn't always impose his will, but helps his followers flourish, grow. He loves his family more than anything and takes responsibility of keeping them safe seriously. But Leo can be a perfectionist, sometimes trying too hard and overthinking things. Leo, think rationally. You can't bring down their mothership with a scout ship. <laughs> Putting his friends and family before himself. <gasps> Something, Donnie. Stand back. You gotta chill out, man. Enough with the crazy one-man missions. Guys, just don't do that again. I'm just glad you're alive, bro. Leonardo is the most well-balanced ninja out of his brothers, and his disciplined nature, along with his incredible martial arts skills, make him the perfect leader. You succeeded. Not everything is super serious with Leonardo. Like everyone else, he has his hobbies and relatable moments. Are there other talking turtles like you? Nope, uh-uh, <laughs> just me, Mr. Imaginary Turtle. <laughs> Having <laughs> tea time? <laughs> uh, next time I'll bring the tea. Bye, Mr. Turtle. He loves binge watching bad TV. <laughs> Open the airlock. You have to be the only person in the world who likes this show. No way! There are millions of Space Nicks out there. And playing oh, video games. No! So close. You did well, my son. Now watch a real sensei at work. He's even into skateboarding. Nice! Booyakusha! What is going on in here? Sensei! Ah! How many times have I told you not to skateboard in the lair? You're right, Sensei. We definitely should have known better. And what do you think would be a fitting punishment? Well, we, we should clean up our mess. And of course, Take the rest. No way. -uh. Back off. pizza. Mm -hmm. Leo's also been known to break the rules every now and then. I am not willing to risk your lives. <sighs> Hi, Sensei. No, Splinter's wrong. We can't wait. Let's do this! Maybe the Stoic leader has a bigger rebellious side than we thought. Karai, it's us. Leo? Took you long enough. Is this a rescue or a romantic comedy? Come on! Interesting relationships aside, it doesn't take away from Leonardo's incredible qualities. Foot Clan? <laughs> you guys just made my night. Let's see him in action in one of his most epic battles, showcasing all his skills we've discussed that truly make him the leader in blue. No doubt, Leonardo can do it all. We got, we got ah! Mikey! And as the leader of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I wouldn't want to be on his bad side.
There's no doubt that this leader is a hero, but what makes Leonardo truly legendary is knowing his family is always there to back him up. Cowabunga! Mikey, I can't believe it! Be sure to like and subscribe to see more of your favorite TMNT content. It's not a bad day after all.